The legend of Santa Claus can be traced back hundreds of years to a monk named Saint Nicholas. It is believed that Nicholas was born sometime around 280 AD in Potara, near Myra in modern-day Turkey. Much admired for his piety and kindness, Saint Nicholas became the subject of many legends. It is said that he gave away all of his inherited wealth and traveled the countryside helping the poor and sick. The Dutch are credited with transporting the legend of Saint Nicholas or Sinterklaas to New Amsterdam, now New York City, along with the custom of giving gifts and sweets to children on his feast day. The current depiction of Santa Claus is based on after his death on December 6th, a tradition of gift giving was begun in his honor. Though the modern Santa Claus has devolved into a secularized figure surrounded by fantasy, his image can serve to help us remember the real Saint Nicholas, a man who devoted his life to serving God and inspiring others to do the same. The present image of Santa Claus was drawn by cartoonist Thomas Nast for Harper's Weekly beginning in 1863. The image was further defined by the popular Santa Claus advertisements created for the Coca-Cola Company from 1931 by illustrator Hedden Sundblom. Santa Claus is said to live at the North Pole with his wife, where he spends the year making toys with the help of his elves. There he receives letters from children asking for Christmas gifts. On Christmas Eve he loads his sleigh with toys and flies around the world, drawn by eight reindeer. Stopping at each child's house, he slides down the chimney and leaves the gifts, refreshing himself with the milk and cookies left for him by the household's children. You better-